Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can use ClickUp inside of NA10. First, what you're going to want to do is search up ClickUp, get a node, and then you're going to want to create a credential. Now, I already have an account, <clears throat> but what you're going to want to do is click on create new credential. You can sign in using the OAuth 2. It's just simple as logging into your account. Or if you don't have this option, you can go to access token, in which case you need an API key. So in order to do that, what you're going to want to do, come to your ClickUp, come over to your top right, click on settings, and then you're going to come over to apps, and then you have this API key over here. Just copy that, paste it into here. However, since I already have an account, I'm just going to go with my preset account over here. So now, now we can actually get started on using this. So. Now, when you search up ClickUp inside of NA10, you'll see that there are a lot of different options that you can pick from. And this is just the triggers. And you can see that there are over 50 actions that you can choose from. So I'll try to cover as much as possible, but I won't be able to go through every single one. So why don't we go ahead and test a couple of triggers? So let's just go ahead and test this on folder created trigger. So, Inside of here, what I'm going to do inside of TeamSpace, I'm going to go ahead and click on create a folder. But before we do that, make sure that we set up our trigger, click on the workspace, and now we're going to go ahead and test the step. So now you can see it says listening for test event. Come back to here, click on folder, and I'm just going to call this YouTube. Click on create, and now you can see it's triggered successfully. So that works. Now what we can do is we can use another trigger. Let's just go ahead and create a list. So we'll just go ahead and do that. On list created, <clears throat> you can even do like list deleted, that kind of stuff, but it's essentially the same thing. Go ahead and select the workspace. Now we'll just go ahead and create a list. Sorry, uh, create a list in here. And we'll just call this YouTube list. Make sure thing is working. Click create. And you can see that it caught our event here. So that worked. So now that we've tested a different couple of triggers, why don't we go ahead and actually start creating stuff <clears throat> using NA10. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this. And let's go ahead search ClickUp, and why don't we actually instead use the create a folder using NA10. So I'll just go ahead, create folder, click on that. <clears throat> now you actually do have to map it out. So make sure you have the option create, click on your workspace, and click on the space name, which is over here. So we'll be using the team space here. Click on that. And now you have to give it a name. So why don't we just go ahead and call it test folder. Go ahead, let's run it. So now if we come back here, you can see we have test folder. <clears throat> so why don't we actually do the same thing we did before and now create a list inside this folder. So go inside here, click on list and again map it out so now we just need to select the folder we just created the folder test folder and um it should be operation create a list that's right we have to create a list so now we'll just call it test list run this workflow again and you can see now we have this test list inside our test folder. Now, if you click on the test list, you can see that we can actually add tasks to here. Why don't we do this using NA10? So now that we've done our create list, change this now to task. And again, you just have to map it out. <clears throat> and we can call this over here. I'm not gonna call it test list, I'll call it um, create a video using NA10. Now, if we go ahead, test the step, 
come back over here, you can see now that we created a task inside this list over here. Now, how about if we actually want to edit our tasks tasks, sorry, using NA10? Well, you're going to have to first come over and search up all tasks. So I'll get tasks and we want to click get many tasks. Click on the workspace. Test folder, list test list, and we're going to click on return all it should in reality just only return the one task. This is because we actually need to get the task ID. Now, you, if you do come over here, you can see that the task ID is already in here. However, let's map it out using N8N. So come over here, click test step, and you can see that this ID over here is the exact same ID that is over here. So that means that we're in the right place. And we can see that we actually have the name create a video using N8N. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and edit this task. So we'll do search click up again, click on edit, or let's just go ahead and search task because I'm not sure what they call it. Uh, task, update a task, there we go, perfect. So now we just need to get the task ID, which we saw from here put that in here and now we just need to update the fields. We can select what field we would like to update. So we can just basically put in here, this is a test update. Then you can also add maybe a due date if you wanted to. Let's just do it for Saturday. You can do a uh, priority. Over here it shows a number, but the number corresponds with the type of a priority. So one is urgent two is high, three normal, four is low. So we'll just keep it as normal. Let's just see, we can give it a time estimate. We could say, and it does the estimate times a minute. So we'll just give it 60 minutes, one hour. So why don't we go ahead and we can test this. So I'll just exit out of here. And if we come back here, test this workflow, it worked properly. So if we come back over here, I'll just refresh this. And you can see that now we have updated it with the priority normal due date. If we come over here, you can see that the time estimate is six, that should be six minutes, 60 minutes, okay. And priority normal, and you can see the start date is Friday. So you can actually see that this worked properly. Now you do also have these other things that you can create inside of the tasks, like subtasks, checklist, why don't we go ahead and do a checklist inside of here? So we'll just go ahead and get this and we'll do click up and we'll do create a chest checklist. So we need to get the task ID. So again, over here and we'll just say, um, create uh, creating test checklist. All right. So now let's run this again. And now it worked properly. So I'm just going to go ahead and refresh this. And now you can see that we have inside here creating test checklist. So I guess the last thing that I could cover over here is covering how to create goals inside of your ClickUp. So normally in order to get a goal, you just come over here and click create a goal. But why don't we do that using N810? So I'll just delete this, search click up again, and let's just search goal. And you can see that you can get a goal, get many goals. Why don't we just go ahead and create a goal, select a workspace, and we'll just create a goal such as buy a Lambo. Run that. And now if we come back over here, come back to goals, you'll see that now we have a new goal of buying a Lambo. Pretty neat. So that is how you can use ClickUp inside of N8N. Now, 
I wasn't able to cover everything because I don't want this video to be too, too long. However, it is pretty much the same exact thing. I showed you how to create a folder, a task, a list, and such. It, it's essentially the same thing. You just basically need to map out the fields, get the IDs, and it's basically plug and play. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and I will see you in the next one.